Hi there guys, how's it going? This is uh, Magna Tomato here and welcome back to SimCity 2013. Today we're playing episode 10 of the uh, static mines construction that we have going here. So last time um, we managed to get the police station going, finally. And we're starting to go around and arrest some criminals, make the land value a bit higher and actually these buildings are starting to improve, which is nice to see. Uh, so now we need to get up this hill and uh, we need to start, um, well, making some coal, really. Don't know how we're going to do that. Uh, maybe we should sort of send that up here, like this. Uh, of course, we want our trade depot nearby, but then, of course, we're going to want to build our smelting division. Um, right. Depends where I want to build the smelter, that's the thing. I guess we could build a road like solely for the use of the um, of the coal. Possibly. Something a little bit like this. And pretty much what I'm just going to do is drive that straight through here. So like this. And then probably like that. And we'll end that right there. And pretty much what we're going to do is we're then going to run this road up and around the back. And not interfering with this uh, this road network that we got here. Because I'm thinking of putting the smelter somewhere over here and getting an extra road round to, uh, to go for that thinking about doing it that way. For now though, let's go ahead and get our second trade depot up. That doesn't matter too much. Yeah, it's down in a, a little ditch there. That's uh, quite funny. Right, we want to max out on the delivery trucks. There we are. We of course want our sign and we're going to want coal storage lots. There we go. Right, so we have coal storage lots at this uh, trade depot right here, uh, and eventually we are going to want to export. Now you can see that the uh, the price is actually very very low because these are raw materials. However, once we get the smelter going, the money's going to go up, and when it does, we're going to be laughing very hard. Okay, yes, the metals HQ is available. We do need to build that before we get the um, before we get the Smelting factory. I am aware of that. Okay, right. Bam. All right. So again, theoretically, we're probably only going to need uh, two of these. Uh, where's the other one? I presume it's around there. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's fine. Right. Uh, we're going to want to sign. Uh, how much do these cost? These cost 14,000. Okay, so we already have one coal shaft. Uh, we may want to go ahead and actually build a couple of residences around here because uh, workers will struggle. Uh, maybe just a few. Not that many. Just to get some workers up here. So these people are going to be workers at the trade depot and uh, things like that. So. Also a bit of extra tax money. Always good. And possibly a shop or two. Uh, maybe. Yeah, let's get some shop. Yeah, see, we're having a worker shortage right now, as you can see. Um, right. Yeah, we're having a worker shortage. But, perhaps we can wreck a few of these industries. Maybe we should try doing that. Maybe we should dezone a little bit of area over here. We'll dezone you, and we'll also dezone you, and we'll dezone you. Right. So we'll free up some space over here. Well, I'll speed up the uh, the process over here. I'll just bulldoze and those. So that's going to free up a few workers, and hopefully they're going to go up and work over here. Okay, you are working. So now we need to go ahead and turn on the trade depot. I'm hoping you are exporting. Did I set you to export? Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. 
Right, now we can go ahead and get a couple more shafts on here straight away. Uh, so 219, 233. There's only one answer to that question. 232. Okay, so we're going to sort of expand out the back here a little bit. Right, almost enough. Um, the last one, probably, maybe over here at the back, just to cover this, uh, this, uh, the better area. There we go. Two, three, four, two, two, nine, two, three, six. Uh, we'll go over there though. I don't want to like extract, extract too much in the same area. But there we go. Um, so that should be enough delivery trucks for now. The only thing is, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to eventually increase the delivery trucks when we go ahead and build the smelter because we need to transport the ore and coal directly to the smelter. Um, and of course, uh, we eliminate the need for the trade depot to be... Uh, to be um, we, we don't need to transport it to the trade depot anymore. But I'm going to build a smelter like somewhere over here, I think. Uh, which means hopefully the actual travel time will be minimized. Uh, no. Um, yeah, the actual amount will be minimized. Uh, so the coal will be fine. The problem will be the ore because we have to cross the, uh, the road here. And I'm tempted to get a bridge up. Very tempted to get a bridge up here. Uh, I may actually try and do this. Uh, right. Because if we get a bridge up over the road, it saves them having to... I don't know whether I can do this, though. Uh, let's just try. Probably a bit steep, actually. Actually, there is one way around. Um, I'll uh, curve that, actually. I don't want to make a needless intersection there. Right, basically, what I want to do... I'm struggling to work out what the hell's going on here. Uh, from here... And... Can I not do this? Is this really not possible? I would love to be able to get that up. About around the back. Ooh, this works. Okay. Can I connect that to there? I can. Okay, so... And then... Do something like this. Over to the smelter. Right, let's do that. Extra road around. And eventually I'll bulldoze that. The only problem is, anything coming in has to go all the way around there. At the end of the day, there's less traffic, and it keeps whatever is... Yeah, that's still going to be a problem, because then... Oh, this is really annoying. Okay, um, right. I'll work that out in a second. Are you working? Yes. Okay, we are exporting. We've actually got quite a lot of money here. Uh, so let's go ahead, then, and build the Metals HQ. Right. So let's try and get the smelter. Uh, where do we want to put this? There's some great buildings coming up over there. Where do I want to put this? I think I want to put this over here. Somewhere. Or shall I put it... It creates a lot of traffic. That is the problem. 
Where am I actually going to build this? Where will people not mind? Here. Okay, let's build that there. Alright, so the metal storage lot is available. And basically what we can do now, I believe... Smelting division is what we need. So in order to do that, we have to get a daily profit of 160,000 uh, in order to upgrade the metals HQ and build one of these divisions. Uh, so it can be commerce, for trade, it can be engineering, uh, for the advanced coal mine, or we can go and try and build the smelting division. And the smelting division is the one that we want. Uh, right, what are you on a... Alright, okay, yeah, that's what I wanted to do anyway. Uh, okay, so uh, I want to upgrade this road because that's going to be busy. People heading into work, it's going to be quite busy. Uh, right. Uh, in that case, I may want to go ahead and get the department for transportation and get some buses and things going. It's going to be required. Right, so it's quite slow going, uh, but I think we can do this. What do you want now? Yeah, here we go. Here's the smelting factory. Yes, that's what I want. But in order to do that, I need to get more in daily profit. So I'm hoping that... Right. Let's go ahead and get the department for transportation and we'll stick it on top, which you can do. Stick it on top there, so that looks quite professional. So now we have access to all of these. Planes, we have streetcars, we have buses, which uh, is going to be really good. Uh, but ideally what I want to do is for the trade, I want to get the trade port. Uh, but in order to do that we need the trade HQ. Uh, but we need a little bit more in global market trade. And in order to do that we need to get our uh, smelter going. So we have a lot of work to do. Uh, but are we on the way up? Yes we are. Okay, we're doing well. Okay, that's good. We've got plenty of storage. We've got plenty going out. Uh, right. Are these uh, maxed out at all? No, they're not. What about you? No, not maxed out in terms of uh, storage. So things are moving quite nicely. There we go. There goes our truck. And uh, money has just been made. Kaboom. Right. So at the moment, basically what we're doing is we're saving up literally all we're doing right now. Uh, we shouldn't really do too much more. Uh, we can possibly uh, go ahead and put down some parks and things to improve this area. Wouldn't that be a good idea? Go ahead with four volleyball courts. Uh, that should improve that area quite significantly. Uh, over here we're looking alright. Looking pretty good. We've got lots of parks and things. Uh, the police, how are you doing? No crimes committed per day, but there's still uh, quite a few prisoners, quite a few criminals out there. And this is the reason why they're being released. So let's go ahead and get some more jails. Right, so yeah, they have to uh, they have to release them when the jails get overcrowded, so... Okay, we're doing fine. We're doing quite okay. Okay, we're actually just about making money here. Uh, the thing is, I think we're still trying to pay off this loan. We are. Let's go ahead and pay that off now. So now all of a sudden we're making a little bit more. That's good. Alright, pay off the... Uh, okay, 142,000. Oh, it's so close. So, so close. Um, I think we should build a few residences over here. Let's sort of go... Um, We'll make a um, something a little bit more interesting. We'll sort of make a an arch sort of thing. Because why not? There we go. 
And pretty much we just want residential commercial around it. Because we have a massive commercial demand over here. So let's go ahead and do that. And go ahead and draw through the middle there as well. And put some more houses in between. There we go. So a really odd area. This road eventually is going to uh, probably go up this hill and around. Uh, in fact, maybe we should do that now. Uh, we'll do that to end the part. Uh, so. Okay, send you up the hill. Mm, I wouldn't mind straightening this bit, actually. We can build some extra bits up here. Okay, let's uh, make sure that's straight. It's a small bit there. There we are. Okay, we want the arc tool. We are perfect, save with intersections, and then bam. Okay, so we have another way out. Could potentially get quite busy that road. Uh, I'd like to still encourage people to use the main avenue. Uh, but still, I think we're doing fine. Uh, let's just get some. some extra roads, maybe. build on. Hmm, that's actually a bit weird. Why don't we do that? There we are. Whoa, look at that wonkiness. Uh, come on, give me the give me the actual road here. There we are. Uh, I want to take this all the way to the edge. Like that. Is that actually connected? The answer is no. Probably because I should be... Oh, that's literally awful. Build it around the back. Like that. Okay, good. Right, so they're going to be extra roads for us to use, but for now that's it. Um, so next time, hopefully, we'll get enough to do the Metals HQ. Uh, but for now that's it, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for more SimCity 2013 with myself, Magda Tomato. Thanks for watching guys.